I think it's a, a huge opportunity. I think there, there definitely are some threats, but the pros are far outweigh the cons, uh, in, in my opinion, uh, here. I think one, you have vertical SaaS, and I know you mentioned to keep this at the pre-seed or early stage, but over the long term, Gen AI have this amazing, beautiful moat of building this unique proprietary data over time that you just don't see in horizontal SaaS companies. And so I think over the long term, vertical SaaS are some of the best position to really have a, a strong defensible moat over the long term with this proprietary data that they're creating. Two, I also see the opportunity, we talked about the ability for AI to be applied to legacy industries and potentially have this leapfrogging of SaaS adoption, reducing time to first value, getting these wow experiences of outcomes magically happening for people. And then I think the, the third big opportunity that I see with vertical SaaS companies and, and Gen AI really comes around maybe like phase two or phase three of Gen AI, where we could potentially see a, a, a pretty significant reduction in CAC maybe across all SaaS companies, not vertical or horizontal, but really being able to increase the operating leverage of your go-to-market org with Gen AI of being able to be a, a co-pilot or potentially handle a lot of the tasks that are, are handled in the go-to-market org. And so this is a whole nother conversation, but the future of the go-to-market org with Gen, a Gen AI could look vastly different, but I think it could also end in a much leaner and or more efficient go-to-market organization, which again is just a tailwind for the operating leverage of these vertical SaaS companies. 